Welcome to another video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video tutorial we are talking about Max 7219 LED Display Controller. This is the second part of our video, SPI in Linux. You can watch the first part of that tutorial, link is given in description. In this tutorial, we will start with introduction to Max 7219 IC. And, next we will show configuration of Max 7219 LED controller. So, relaxed and watch this video till the end. We will use Max 7219 SPI interfaced. LED Display Driver IC Max 7219 is serial interfaced, 8-digit, LED Display Driver It has 4-line serial interface D in is Muzzy Line D out is MISO Line Load is Chip Select Line And here is the Clock Line Max 7219 works in BCD Decoding Mode And also in No Decoding Mode Max 7219 can drive 7 segment LED display and also 8x8 LED matrix. Basically, it can drive 64 LEDs individually. We will use it to drive LED matrix. Max 7219 will able to drive 8x8 LED matrix. In generic module, we have LED matrix and Max 7219 IC. Let us see how LED matrix works. LEDs are organized into 8 columns and 8 rows. LEDs connected at intersection of each row and column. Here are pin numbered from 1 to 8 and 9 to 16. One big point is how to identify pin number? We need to search name or half moon symbol. You will able to find name of module or half moon symbol. Pin numbers will be from left to right. Leftmost pin is pin number 1, 2, 3 and so on. Connection of Max 7219 with Raspberry Pi 4, board is straightforward. Max 7219 has DIN pin, which is basically master out slave in, pin. DIN pin is connected to Muzzy pin of Raspberry Pi board. Muzzy is pin 19. Clock pin of Max 7219 is connected to SCLK of Raspberry Pi. Load pin of Max 7219 is connected to BO number 25. Load pin can be connected to any PO pin of Raspberry Pi. We will see role of load pin shortly. Ground pin of Max 7219 is connected to ground pin of Raspberry Pi. And most important connection is rows and columns. D0 to D7 pins of Max 7219 are connected to column of LED matrix display. Segment pins of Max 7219 are connected to rows of LED matrix. As we will use LED matrix module, so you will find all connections already present. You can identify pins on LED matrix module. Max 7219 has various registers. These are the segment drivers pins. SEG A to SEG G, and DP line. Here we have digit drivers, it has DIG 0 to DIG 7 lines. It has registers to control functionality of LED drivers. For example, shutdown register to turn LED driver, on or off. Same way we have intensity control registers, scan limit register, decide how many digits, are going to be displayed. Every register has, 4 bits address. But data to SPI is transferred in 16 bits format. First 8 bits, D7 to D0 will represent data, which we want to write into a register. D11 to D8 will represent address of register. D15 to D12 are don't care bits. These bits can be considered as zero. Let us see how address is created. Register address is a 4 bits. If we consider don't care bits to 0. In this case, decode mode register address will be 0x09. 
scan limit register address will be 0x0b. Suppose we need to write 7 in scan limit register. First step is to find out address of scan limit register. As per this table, you can see, address of scan limit register is, b. In that case 16 bits which we need to send is, 0b, 07. 0x0b, is address of register, and 0x07, is the value, which will be written in scan limit register. To write 16 bits to SBI device, we need to follow these steps. First make load line 0. And then data is sent on each clock. MSB is sent first and LSB is sent at the end. Bit order is configurable in Linux SBI driver. Let us plan display of character A. We will glow LED in such a way that it resembles character A. Because this LED matrix is a common cathode type. Writing 1 will glow LED. So, in this way, you can see, value for first row, should be 0x70. And in value for second row, will be 0x88. And value for, third and fourth row, will be 0x88. Fifth row will be 0xf8. Now, we have values for each rows, to display character A. If we want to display character A on LED display, we need to write 70 into digit register 0, 88 into digit register 1, and so on. In this way, we can create fonts. Same way, we will able to write character B. We need to write FC into data register 0, 0x42 into data register 1, and so on. We have figured out values need to be written in data register. Now we are ready to write C code. We need to write code in three steps. First step is to initialize SPI device 0 because MAX 7219 is connected to SPI 0. Second step will be preparing LED controller. And finally, display character. First we will open SPI device. Set SPI mode. Set SPI speed to 2 meg. Prepare SPI, IOC transfer structure. Initialize GPIO pin, to make load pin low. Send data using IOC TL system call. Make GPIO pin high, to disable load pin. We will follow these steps to initialize MAX7219, LED controller. These are the exact steps, to initialize LED controller IC. And finally, we will write values in data register. This will show character on LED matrix. We will CC code in next part of video. Visit our website for more articles and tutorials. Visit us at www.embeddedcraft.org. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe to the Embedded Craft YouTube channel. We will meet in our next video tutorial, meanwhile goodbye and take care.